everybody. My name is Josh Valencia, and I'm going to show off this um, demo session that ships with Pro Tools 11. First, we're going to start off by showing off the session in Pro Tools 10. Right now, nothing's actually playing. Um, as you can see, I have all the instruments going, a couple stock plugins, nothing too crazy. And we're going to see how Pro Tools behaves. So right now, it's floating around 25 uh, 23 kind of in the 20s um, my uh, hardware buffer size is 256 eight processors using 90% kind of the most I could go the most I could go there too all right so it's kind of living there and I'm gonna go ahead and play a piece of the session and expand that so we could see it okay nice. hey, hey. Got conversations you're just passing time and we could see the number just decreases this is where my issue in Pro Tools 11 is um, my number in Pro Tools 11 is bouncing around. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to um, cut this video and start up a new one where I'm actually in PT11 and we're giving a look-see at what it's actually doing. Okay, so we're back here in Pro Tools 11 with the same session we had before. We can see that idle. Um, the session is at about 31 and it should plummet any time here. And my memory, um, this being my RAM, is actually being used up by something else. Let's see if I have anything else open over here. Just a video recorder, my Apogee control software, and Pro Tools. So um, that's a little weird. But anyway, we can see it's floating around 34, 29. My uh, sample buffer is 256 samples. Um, video engine kind of disabled dynamic plug and processing, which I need for this to work as smooth as possible. It's a new feature, so I'm going to leave it engaged. And uh, Ignore errors during playback. I'm going to say no. Um, I don't have it n checked in my 10 rig, so I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to hit OK. Kind of resets, and then it does this like swell up of like rage thing. It's pretty weird. So, anyway, it's going to trickle back down to around 30 and hover there. I'm not even doing anything at this point. I thought it was going to be better at that. But anyway, I'm going to play the session and let's see what happens. Something you built in the sand. This is kind of a surge. You can see it go up to about 58%. I were to check my uh, uh, mix window here, we see that I have all the plugins going. There's a little bit of delay compensation going. Um, it's a lot. Probably the same I had in PT10, but again, it was working a lot smoother then. So let's go again. If you could see that, it looks like as part as, cal as part of calculating the reverb, um, it's actually not doing it too well. You see that it just spiked up to seventy some odd percent. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. It's a pretty weird occurrence. Um, obviously, if you're working on a much larger session, this is not that many um, tracks here. Granted, we're going through a ton of uh, instruments here, like. Now open just get expand up and vacuum and vacuum and expand and vacuum so we have plenty of plugins pulling multiple um about hundreds of samples off of my uh hard disk at once and i don't even think my disk blinks This gets about 5%, but my CPU is like toast. 
um, it's really having a hard time coping with it. If we were to look at this chart up here, I don't know how visible that is, but you could see that my usage um, is kind of jumping pretty quick. Um, Pro Tools is using about 87%. The capture software is using a ton, but I was using the capture software with PT10, so that shouldn't be the issue. Um, so if anyone has any insight as to why, let me know, put it in the comments section, and hopefully the guys at PT Expert can help us out.